Hello, welcome to Ra Online. I am Dr. Rohit Gopinath, a pediatric surgeon by profession and a teacher at heart. I completed my undergraduate from Sri Ramchandra Institute of Higher Education and Research, following which I proceeded to complete my specialization in general surgery from the same institute. I then proceeded to pursue super specialization in pediatric surgery, thanks in no small part to the wonderful department of pediatric surgery that we had at Sri. I completed my super specialization in pediatric surgery from what can only be called as the mecca of pediatric surgery, that is Institute of Child Health. Now, this Institute of Child Health is a pediatric wing of Madras Medical College. Coming from a family boasting of a long line of teachers, it is only natural that I would take up to teaching as a profession, at least as a hobby. I have been passionate about teaching right from my post-graduation days. The interest in academics is what attracted me to Ra Online. In Ra Online, I have received a platform from which I can just let loose the academician in me. So general surgery is a subject that continues to instill fear, awe and excitement all at once in all medical students. The buzz in the theatre, the sight of an operating surgeon, attired in a surgical gown, mumbling instructions to the uh, assistant operating along with him, to the nurses assisting him, all the while performing a very complex surgical procedure, has continued to send chills down the spine of medical students since decades. Surgery is a unique field where we actually get to see the various organs that we learnt about and read about in our anatomy classes in the first year. It is a field where knowledge and skill go hand in hand. So it is commonly said that one who works with his hand is a craftsman. One who works with his mind is a scientist. One who works with his heart is an artist. And one who works with his hands, mind and heart is a surgeon. Every surgical resident goes through a trial by fire which converts a bumbling medical student who used to faint at the sight of blood into what can only be called a confident, bold and fearless surgeon. A surgeon, as the saying goes, should have the heart of a lion, the eye of an eagle, a stamina of a horse, appetite of a camel and the hands of a lady. These are acquired after years of dedication, training and perseverance. Since time immemorial, Learning surgery is mainly associated with learning the technical aspects of surgery. And it is always thought that the academic aspect of surgery is never given due importance. It is to be remembered that surgery is a field where a person who doesn't have the skills to operate is considered an incompetent surgeon. But the absence of knowledge creates a potential killer. Theoretical learning in surgery has long been considered to be very difficult, particularly among residents, because the technical training leaves these residents dry, leaving them very little time and energy to devote to academic pursuits. The fact that there are volumes and volumes of material in textbooks covering general surgery and its broad specialities, in addition to hordes of academic material being published every day, is enough to break the strongest of minds. An average surgical resident is required to read, at least at the bare minimum, four to six textbooks including Bailey and Lau, Sebastian, Schwartz, Davenport, Kusheri, etc. in addition to textbooks covering basic sciences. Let me assure you that after spending countless hours in the theatre, there is no greater sedative to a resident than books. To surgical residents, in particular, and medical students in general, general surgery is a sea. It's a large, scary, uncharted sea. And I'm here to help you navigate these uncharted waters and reach your destination safely. So it is only act that we call this module charting the surgical sea. So what we have done here is that we have painstakingly collected all the vital information or salient information from various chapters covering multiple textbooks and converted it into small concise videos. 
with over 100 plus hours of classes, more than 150 topics, we have managed to cover a large chunk of general surgery. This comprehensive coverage of surgical topics will provide you as a student a platform from where you can just dive into the sea that is surgery. The topics discussed would be particularly useful for students who are planning to write their theory exams in general surgery, as well as those who are looking to clear competitive exams like NEET, NSIT, MRCS, etc. The exhaustive coverage of various topics makes this the ideal study material not only for postgraduates in general surgery looking to complete their postgraduation, also NEET SS, INISIT and MRCS aspirants, faculty, senior residents and consultants. In addition to theory topics, there are multiple videos of clinical case presentation wherein I have discussed about the art of history taking, the various methods of examination and commonly asked questions during practicals. So these videos are extremely useful for those surgical postgraduates or residents who are looking to clear their surgical practicals. In addition to clinical case presentations, there are also multiple procedural videos where we have shown how common surgical procedures are performed. To ensure that rapid revision sessions are being prepared, covering the absolutely need to know points under each and every topic. We are now undertaking efforts to start MCQ-based, particularly case scenario-based classes, which would enable students to tackle surgical questions in competitive exams in an effortless and efficient manner. So the countless hours of academic material that are available in the form of videos is also now available in the form of books, which can be used as a ready reckoner. Of course, surgery is an ever-evolving field and a true surgeon only stops learning when he dies. I am making every possible effort for my part to keep myself updated. And with my updation, I'm sure that I can convey that updated knowledge to you, helping you keep yourself updated as well. By stating a very, very pertinent quote from Hamilton and Bailey textbook of general surgery, which goes as follows. From inability to leave well alone, from too much zeal for what is new and contempt for what is old, from putting knowledge in front of wisdom and science before art, cleverness before common sense, from treating patients only as cases, from making the cure of a disease more grievous than its endurance. Good Lord! deliver us. A PDF link of all topics which are currently available is given below. Please subscribe to Ra Online app to take the first step towards academic excellence.